Hey, what's going on guys? Mr. The Reverts here, and today we're going to be talking about Iron Sights versus the Red Dot Sights. Now, I haven't really been playing Black Ops 3 a lot lately, mainly because of school and other things going on in my personal life, but since it's double XP weekend, I've been playing a lot of Black Ops 3 with a couple of subs of mine, and if you've been playing with me, I really appreciate it, and if you're watching this video, shout out to you, man. But uh, like I said, I've been playing a lot more on Black Ops 3, and one thing I've noticed is people tend to use the Red Dot Sight on weapons that don't really need it. So I'm going to be giving you guys a list of weapons that I don't think need a Red Dot Sight, and the ones that should have a Red Dot Sight. Or any optic for that matter. Now, one thing I want you guys to look out for is if the red dot sight is actually increasing your view path or making the recoil on the guns more controllable. So, for the assault rifles that should require a red dot sight, I came up with the KN44, the XR2, the HVK30, and the Shiva. And you're gonna notice on some of these weapons as I'm switching from the red dot sight to the iron sight, it's really not affecting the gun too much, and the iron sight is already really good. But some of you guys may be confused as to why I have the XR2 and the Shiva under this category. Well, the reason is both of these guns have horrible iron sights. You're gonna see on the gameplay on screen right now and with the red dot side it really clears up your view path a little bit more uh, so that's why I have those two guns under the category that requires the red dot sight now both the KN44 and the HVK have really bad recoil but with the red dot side it does reduce it a little bit so uh, that's why I have those two guns under the red dot side category as well now for the weapons that don't need a red dot sight I have the ICR1 the M8 and the Mana War and all of these weapons either have a very good iron sight the recoil is controllable and they have a slow fire rate now for the submachine guns here's some good examples of guns that that people think a red dot sight will improve the gun when it really doesn't. So the first gun is the CUDA. Now the CUDA has a very good iron sight and a red dot sight is not really needed and you can replace that with either a fast mag, a rapid fire, or something like that. Now for the guns that need a red dot sight are the Vesper, the VMP, the Pharaoh, and the Razorback. And both the Vesper and the VMP have a fast fire rate. The recoil is actually kind of hard to control and with the red dot sight it makes it a bit easier to uh, control the uh, recoil on the gun. And the Razorback has a terrible iron sight and for the Pharaoh I just find it a bit easier to win gunfights with the red dot sight. And for the guns that don't need a red dot sight are the CUDA, the Weevil, and uh, both of these guns either have a really good iron sight and the recoil is controllable. And again guys, for the weapons I have under the category of iron sights, don't use a red dot sight. Instead use something like an extended mags or quick draw because those attachments will actually help you out more than a red dot sight would. And uh, again, you don't really need a red dot sight. So hope you guys did enjoy today's video. Hope you guys did learn something new. Don't forget to drop a like and also subscribe for the greatest Call of Duty Black Ops 3 tips and tricks. Thank you all for watching. My name is Averts. Have a great rest of the day. Till next time, I'll catch y'all later.